So this is my cheat sheet on how to work freshly washed hair into four days of different hairstyles. On a Sunday, of course, you begin with freshly blow-dried or tonged hair, just like so. On a Tuesday, you want to do something different, but your hair still feels fresh. At this point, all I do is gather a day-old hair, break my fingers through that raised section, so I take away any extra flyaways that are not doing anything for my shape. I'm pulling little bits out so you can see light passing through in profile. Then I'm going to take a bungee band, which is an elastic with hooks on both ends. I'm going to hook one end of the bungee into her hair, roll this around the ponytail, and hook the bungee into itself. Now, once the ponytail is here, you can use a little hairspray or sea salt spray, spritz it through the hair really lightly to give it some fluff and texture, and there you have it. So this kind of a look is great for day two. It's Tuesday now. We've got a little bit of dirt in the scalp and we want to reintroduce volume into the hair, for which I'm going to ask my beautiful model here to toss her hair down. Toss it down. Boop, boop, boop. I'm going to take, shake my dry shampoo, spritz it in the hair like so. Fling your hair back. There you go. Dry shampoo in the root. The important thing to remember with dry shampoo is that what it's doing is absorbing oils from the hair. So those little oils that cause your hair to stick flat to the scalp, cause you to feel oily. So the dry shampoo is gonna go into that oil, suck up all the oil, absorb it, and therefore add a lift and volume to hair and make it fresh again. It's midweek, Wednesday. Your hair by now has product in it. It's got grime from three days, it's got product from three days, and it's also got frustration from three days because you know that you're gonna to have to wash it at the end of this new day. I'm gonna create a parting on my model here. Spritzing some of this shine so it really looks sleek. Now that I've brushed the hair with that center parting, you can see the effect that it creates, right? This is what I like to call famous hair, rich girl hair, really premium quality hair. You can see that it has movement, it has flow, and it has shine and health. I'm gonna take all of this hair, bunch it up at the nape of her neck right there. Now I want a very slick, a very clean texture that looks like she spent a lot of time putting all of these hairs in place. Going in with one of my hair essentials, the bungee band, and hooking it into itself right there, like so you'll get a really immovable tight ponytail. Now, at this point, you have a simple ponytail. You could leave it here if you wanted just a ponytail, but I'm gonna show you how to step this up a little more. I'm gonna create a three-strand braid. So just gonna braid the hair. Very clean, and very simple. I've got a rubber band at my disposal here. Secure the rubber band in her hair. Once the rubber band is secure in her hair, I'm gonna take this, flatten it against her scalp like so, Wrap this hair around itself, like so. Once you have the hair wrapped around itself, you take an unopened bobby pin. Mind you, I'm not opening the bobby pin before I go in, because you'll get too much hair in here, and you're going to have the eye of the bobby pin sticking out. We want the bobby pin completely hidden. Run that into the scalp and into that bungee band underneath, where the hair is secure, so it really stays put. Remember to distribute your weight, so one here, one here, and one here. To get a really slick, chic finish, I'm gonna go in with either a shine spray, like so, and then with your transparent mascara, you can clean out the hairline, making it even more sophisticated and clean, like so. I love these kind of updos because they really focus on the beauty of the woman, her face, and her personality, as opposed to the big volume and sexiness of her hair. Hope you guys have enjoyed my cheat sheet for today. See you.